We're here today with Ross Tassin from Woodfire Power YouTube channel, and we're going to talk about uh, building a water reservoir. So this video is showing what I'm doing for a hot water reservoir. This will be um, roughly eight feet by eight feet by four feet deep, so around 2,000 gallons, slightly less than that. Um, I'm just using studs because they're all conveniently pre-cut to length. And uh, the reservoir will be solid two by sixes all the way up each of the four four foot walls. And that'll create the inner lining. Outside of that will be a framed wall that goes all the way around with top plates that grab, um, like double top plates. But the most important thing is the base and how this base is constructed. And so this video is going to show that before it's all covered up and you can't see it. What I did is I um, leveled the ground with road base and then put two by uh, boards down. You could do it all the way solid in both X and Y directions and that would be better than what I'm doing. I just ran out of, didn't want to spend that much money, and I think this is adequate. The key thing, and this is a Mythbusters don't do this at home uh, safety warning, is that this will be 2,000 gallons of hot water at up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And so if this were to burst all of a sudden, that would be a very unpleasant bath to take um, and probably could kill you. So if you do build something like this, um, you're doing it at your own risk and I told you not to. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how I did it and uh, you can watch the channel and see if I boil myself. <laughs> and um, what the two by material is, is there to create tension members. So when you have um, 2,000 gallons of water, it weighs about 16,000 pounds. So that's the vertical force, which is easy for the two bys to handle. But the real problem to deal with from an engineering perspective is that the pressure, the force resulting from the pressure on each of the four sidewalls will have a force of around 5,000 pounds. So imagine stacking a couple of decent sized cars. Um, that's what these walls are going to have to hold back. The majority of the force or the pressure center is down around uh, here about a foot off the ground where the depth is four feet because it's two PSI pressure here, zero PSI at the top. Uh, but you have 144 square inches in a square foot. So um, it's a lot of force. And so what these members are, are tension members so that the two by six walls will come up as a solid wall. And on the outside of those will be a framed wall. And the bottom plate of the framed wall will bolt uh, copiously down into these uh, lower plates. And then the force trying to kick this wall out gets transferred down to these two bys as tension and the two opposing walls have equal and opposite forces and so then that will hold it in position. Um, that's what takes care of the majority of the force which is down at the bottom just like in a concrete form. And the top, uh, the force is a lot less and so the top plates and some other devices I'll probably end up putting up there as well as potentially some members going across will take care of the tension on the top, which is easier to take care of. So this will line with some rock and sand and insulation and plastic and then it'll line with regular polyethylene sheeting, which can handle the temperature without melting. And 
it'll be necessary to get it all formed in there so that the force on it doesn't tear it. And then putting the bulkhead fittings through to connect the, uh, the water pumps and stuff like that will um, be shown in a later video. So this is just a little video showing the start and mainly I just wanted to show this waffle structure here which is what's going to handle the tension applied to the um, walls. So that's it for this one.